Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Virgo, also, listen, I uploaded your weekly reading, September 5th through the 10th. It's already there on my channel, so if you want to go check that out, definitely go give that a, a view and a like and a subscribe. All right, so we're going to take a look at your messages for September. Happy birthday if today is your birthday. Um, hmm, okay. Also, personal reading link. I'm running a special for September, $99 for a 30-minute phone call. Go check that out if you want to book a reading with me. All right, what the heck's going on here? You've got kisses, the butterfly, and soulmates. What? Okay, Virgo, let's get into this. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth, and a soulmate connection, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Nice. So I guess you're meeting your soulmate this week, Virgo, or you're going to be connecting with a soulmate this week. All right, let's 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 take a look. Let, let us take a look and see what is going on. Actually, you know, I just heard they said to pull, they just told me to do this, so... I don't know why, but I'm going to look at, see if I get some names or some issue, anything coming up. All right, somebody's birthday on the 23rd. We have the letter J. Um, October, significant. We have a Libra, double Libra. Wow, double Libra showing up here, initial R. Somebody's name might be JR or RJ. Let me see. You know, you guys, I usually do this at the end, but something is telling me, do it now. 1970. Okay, someone's 46. We have the initial I and Y. And someone might be doing jury duty or is getting called for jury duty or just finished some kind of jury duty. You, is th Some of you, this is about a Libra. I'm just going to say that right now. Or you have heavy Libra in your chart somewhere. Also have, I don't know what the hell that is, Jupiter and a Taurus. All right, so... If that resonates for you, I would definitely keep listening. You've got a reading. Doesn't If it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles. There is definitely uh, an offer coming in, a solid offer. Slow and steady wins the race. And yeah, I feel like this is something that um, someone's really going to be considering. Um, uh, making an investment into some kind of a relationship. All right, let's take a look. Okay, 10 of, oh, there's the King of Swords. Now listen, um, if you are not a member, if you haven't subscribed yet to my OnlyFans, I just want you to know though that that website, I upload tarot readings there, but I use the, the spicy um, things you can't do on YouTube <laughs> type cards and readings. The King of Swords showed up in that reading. So if there's a connection to a Libra or a Gemini Aquarius, whichever, I would tell you to go over and sign up it's 4.99 a month no three is it 3.99 a month now i can't remember yeah it's really cheap so i upload every week but i just did a reading i just uploaded it today so go check that out you can renew subscription or you could just do it for one time it's up to you you know you're not like obligated so yeah there is definitely air sign energy here uh, i think i feel like this person is they look exhausted. They look like they're hitting some kind of like rock bottom. They're exhausted. They're burned out. They're tired. They're <laughs> um, it's crazy for the King of Swords to be. Well, yeah, mm, King of Swords generally, they don't get burned out mentally because they're air. So they're just constantly flowing. But they're physical. They're not used to the physical. King of Swords, by nature, is usually someone that... Um, has a lot of energy to spend mentally communicatively their thoughts they could they go they go they go they don't ever stop talking they they're they're there's like a little hamster wheel that goes in their head and it just turns and turns and it never stops okay that could be draining them a little bit but i do see this king of swords being like completely shutting down in september they are just like exhausted and what does this have to do with love? Well, okay. 
they need some financial help virgo <laughs> they want some help they're going to ask they're definitely going to ask you for help well let me take that back they're they're contemplating asking you for help for a couple of dollars or a couple of whatever your currency is wherever you're from um couple of coins okay now there is also i can't even believe they're telling me this this is th this okay i don't know why this is coming up as a soulmate i don't know virgo you you know I, i'm not sure what your energy is going to be here but i feel like this person is going to ask you out to go have dinner or go have drinks or go have lunch there's an expectation that you're gonna have to foot the bill or you're gonna have to pay fully okay now some of you might be all right with that um, they're hesitant to chip in. I will tell you that. It doesn't mean that they're not going to, but they're hesitant to chip in. Now, if you already have some kind of relationship with this person and there's something about chipping in financially into something, I feel like this is like if you ask this person if they could chip in or pay something, I kind of feel like their energy is going to be like, well, you know, I work so hard. I mean, I'm going to have to look. They're real slow to giving some money <laughs> or chipping in they just they just keep telling me chipping in okay um so yeah you know i mean your prerogative right whatever you want to do if you're fine paying with for something on your own then it shouldn't be a problem um why because <laughs> well you're looking pretty good financially so maybe this one time but maybe you prefer to do half and half you know make it even or maybe you do prefer to pay everything and that's fine that's your prerogative you might not though you might be like absolutely not um yeah so but you could like you it looks like you you it looks like you could afford to I'm hearing um, I don't know what even what we're talking about that uh, like it could have something to do with a date um, now they're also just telling me that this king of swords is contemplating thinking about sending something through the mail like sending a gift to your home or a card for a birthday I'm just hearing for some of you um, you didn't receive something from someone because it's been delayed um it's in the mail i'm hearing but it's it's been delayed um so if there's this upset about somebody didn't get you a gift or something or wish you a happy birthday or something there's so you know mercury retrograde is still playing out right figures during your birthday your birthday season so there's definitely some delays uh they just told me to tell you that okay so if you didn't hear from someone or you didn't get a gift or you didn't get a message there's it could be delayed due to somebody's working um it's delayed due to problems on the other end where it was sent um that kind of stuff but i do feel like um it's coming is what i'm hearing okay <clears throat> what else what else is Virgo need to know what is this oh how about that catch me outside with this knight of cups hmm well um <laughs> yeah there's definitely a love offer coming in here there's something attached to some kind of gift or uh like a, if you get a gift or something that it's like an I, I love you someone opens up tell you how they feel some of you gonna get like a birthday card it, it it's so i guess it's a birthday card but i see like a lot of writing in it so i don't know if it's a card that someone buys that it's already pre-printed or they just write this long love letter some of you it's a love letter what yes it's a love letter. there's a delivery coming okay but i do feel like whoever this person is which showing up as a king of swords could also be an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn there is an energy of um like <laughs> there's a whole like a whole new world there's a whole beginning of a love start happening here somebody has a butterfly tattoo i just heard or sees a monarch butterfly or a very beautiful black and white 
also butterfly a black and white and then they're also showing me a, a black and blue butterfly okay significant all right let's see what else does virgo need to know okay yeah i'm just hearing i was wondering if i should send this to you or if i should reach out because it's really past your birthday yeah i feel like somebody um There's definitely going to be like a belated kind of thing going on. I feel like it's turned into a birthday reading. There's definitely like a belated thing going on. And I feel like this person. Um, oh. Um, they're just showing me needing to price the cost for shipping. So for some of you, or at least one, it's a big gift coming in. Somebody has an infinity symbol or wears an infinity symbol. Maybe a piece of jewelry or a bracelet of some sort with an infinity symbol. There's a, there's a huge, yeah, this, they're just telling me the, the cost. Weights and balances, the cost of shipping at a distance or far away or overseas. Okay, so yeah, that energy is definitely playing out. You're going to be receiving something for sure. Um... And some of you may feel like someone is being very cheap. They're not chipping in <laughs> to your birthday gift. Or they don't want to pay for something or get you a gift. Or um, I feel like this is based on someone saying that they would. Or they've done this before. This is how they are. And they didn't do it. I feel like there's some kind of hold up. Um, and yet at the same time, I also feel like you're okay with it. Because you can buy your own gifts. Does that make any sense? That's just the energy they're giving me here. Okay. All right. We've got the Page of Swords. You've got the Nine of Cups. You have the Lovers. The Queen of Wands. All right. So, um, you have... A fire sign also showing up here who is watching you. They are in love with you. I'm just going to tell you right now. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They're stalking the S out of you. They are stalking you. They are watching you. I feel like my readings are changing these days because I'm really trying to pick up more predictive energy and less psychological stuff. But yeah, there is a fire sign here who is watching you. They could have Gemini in their chart somewhere. So... Um, Hold on a second. Now I'm getting another message. Okay. They're giving me someone on the cusp also of Libra and Sag. So that would be... Um, no, wait. That doesn't make sense because it would be Libra Scorpio. Where is... All right, so then I'm just picking up. They have Libra or fire in their chart, Sagittarius in their chart. So, all right, listen to me. I feel like this person who's interested in you does have another person in their life. However, and it, I feel like it's a good relationship, but they're looking at you. You're like a wish come true. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. I was like, what's going on? Why would someone have, have a really good relationship and be really happy with another person and be looking at you or spying on you? Because either you broke their heart. So you might know who this is. Either, you're a heart, either you broke their heart or you are a heartbreaker. And there's something, Virgo, you're either a bad girl or a bad boy. And this person is completely like enamored with you you're you have like like your trouble <laughs> somebody thinks you're trouble and that's intriguing to them because i don't know why um because you can break their heart like because you're not um i don't know i'm, I'm kind of just getting this energy that this person they have someone else, like I said, where I feel like they're they're in like yeah they're content they're happy with who they're with, but 
there's something about you. You have an edge. There's an edge I'm hearing. They're saying you have some kind of edge. You have the ability, I guess, to break a heart or do something or start trouble. You're a little bit of a troublemaker. You're like a, I don't know, like a James Dean kind of like male or female energy, like a heartbreaker. <laughs> I don't like you you make people cry who am I talking to I don't even get this okay we're just gonna keep it moving here I feel like there's a lot of different messages hang happen in here all right you've got strength four of pentacles the chariot okay, queen of pentacles Virgo you buying a new car are you thinking about it um, are you looking at vehicles right now? Yeah, I kind of feel like that. Uh, you might be, ch you might, some of you are online building a custom car. You're not trying to buy it. You're just trying to see what you like. If anybody leaves me a comment and says, I just did that last night, I'm just going to die. Um, are you pricing vehicles? Also, some of you are looking at um, how much it's going to cost to take your pet to the vet. Or you're looking up... Um, if there's a way, if you got to call like a vetbulance, is there an ambulance for, for dogs and cats and animals? <sighs> Wait a minute. Some of you might be um, or looking up some type of way to make money where you actually pick people's animals up and take them to the vet to get whatever they need. Or, or do some kind of mobile vet service. <laughs> Virgos, you guys like, oh, I'm just trying to find a way to make money. Listen, in this day and age, can't blame you. Yeah, so uh, there's something here to do with wheels. Meals on wheels, y'all. I don't know what's going on, but there's something here to do with some meals and some animals. Maybe dentistry or animal like cleaning their teeth. Uh, that kind of thing. Yeah, I see like... To, like a, I, I see like a, a wheels, a car, a vehicle, a van, a truck, some kind of service. Maybe it's pet washing. Yeah. Okay. So this was obviously just like a free for all random reading. Uh, that's what I'm going to say. There's just a lot of different stuff going on here. Okay. And some of you are just, I don't know, somebody's listening to this in their car, in the car wash or just got done a car wash or they're going to the car wash. Okay. So, okay, you've got a blast from the past returning um, who wants to start something new. You want to be starting something. Wants to have a new start with you. This person can't let go of you. Um, they're not showing me who this is yet. So I will tell you, though, give you some kind of idea. So... I'm picking up a Scorpio. I am picking up a Gemini. And a Sag. Sagittarius. Okay. If a court card shows up, then there you go. But this person is basically... They're having some mental stress. Mental struggle. And... They are very hesitant to approach you. This is a past person. Okay. They're having some mental struggle. They feel trapped. They feel victimized. They're trying to figure out how to get out of this mental state. Um, or they're restricted in some way. Where they can't stop. I feel like they're thinking about you. I feel like this person has like a heart on for you. Like they have, they really have a thing for you big time. <clears throat> they're keeping your memory alive. I just heard lighting a candle. They got the wick. John wick lighting a candle, keeping your memory alive. Okay. Can't stop thinking about you. Oh my goodness. This was someone who um, Okay. Hold on a minute. This is someone who thinks that you are not either not interested in them or you are 
giving your time and energy elsewhere to other people and that you're very persistent about that like you're not giving your time effort and energy to them and um i feel like it's mostly because they ran away from a relationship or um like a committed this is an 11 11 connection here so it, it looks like but whoever they they so they ran away from you or ran away from a relationship to wherever they went and wherever they are they're running away from that and heading back in your direction okay so yeah they, they're like really struggling but it feels like this person um they're kind of like calculating their next moves to come towards you the sun yeah they want a reunion with you very positive open like absolutely there might be some communication from this person you might hear from them we got leo energy here some type of communication some of y'all need to watch out for, there's a big ass hurricane going to be hitting um They're telling me um, the East Coast. Okay, hold on. This has nothing to do with anything, but they're just saying it. it's something turning into a... They're giving me hurricane energy here. Hold on. All right. Um, up above, they're saying um, North Carolina. North Carolina and up. Major hurricane coming. Major cat five energy major okay i don't know if it's gonna like hit land but i know it's like going up the coast it's gonna strike up that way all right they just said to say that so okay so i feel like this person is going to take a gamble here um whoever they are like i said there's leo here um i gave you the other signs taurus aquarius scorpio i feel like this person is like coming out into the open before the end of the summer so they're giving me by september 21st there's some type of call or communication coming in from this person um you're gonna get hit like wham but a lot of shocking energy towards like the third week of the month i feel and Some of you might need to get out of harm's way. They're just saying, might, might. We'll wait and see how things go. Okay. All right. So. All right. You're going to be hearing from a fire sign. Again, it's the fire sign. Keep showing up. I don't know if this is the past person or not, but this is the next message. You're going to be hearing from a fire sign. They want to talk to you about money, ways to make money, and they want to sit and meet you, okay? It could be about business, money ideas, business ideas, projects, plans, I, um, uh, startups, that kind of stuff. But there's a love thing, a magic that happens between you and a fire sign. This might be a totally separate message. You also have a king of cups here who's coming in with an apology wants to do right by you cancer scorpio pisces wants to make something right by you tell you some truth make a win-win situation either say they're sorry um there might also be a um apology for taking you to court um there might also be a, a birthday message coming from them as well looks like you win something in a court case I feel like you win something in a court case, okay? And then someone apologizes for, or congratulate. They apologize and congratulate you at the same time. I don't know what that means, okay? And look at you. Let's talk about you, Virgo. Virgo. Whoa. Virgo, you need to get out. I'm not kidding. You need to get out and get your fun, sexy on before the summer ends. <laughs> Virgo, like some of y'all, like, I don't know what you men are doing, but you need to shut off that TV and get off that hub and get out and start meeting some people. 
I don't even care how things turn out, you know, because you're looking broke, busted, and disgusted here. And for the ladies, I mean, you need to get out and flirt and get on and get some fun and start moving. Shake it up. Shake it up, Virgo. Get moving. You're in too much hermit mode. I don't even care if that means you're just going to go walk around the park where there's people um, or just go hang out in the grocery store for three hours. Who cares? Go to Starbucks. Sit around and get some coffee and get your computer or something or read a book. Um, and especially with the fall coming, a lot of festivals, a lot of stuff to do. You don't have to be in the middle of everything if that's not your, your spiel. But you can, you got to get out. Yes, before the winter comes and then you're locked in for good. And I know some of you are like, that's fine with me. <laughs> um, I don't know, Virgo. I'm only saying this because I, I'm, I'm speaking to those who I feel like really want to. They really want a lover. And um, they really want to like break out of some kind of shell. Listen, if you're totally cool with never coming out of your house, being a hermit, it's not your message. This is for those of you who maybe used to be on the go. You had a fire. You had your passions. You know, you go out and like burning down the house. Um, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. So some of you need, like definitely, I feel like you have this urge to do it, but then you you sit. You got, and, and so even if that means just start walking or getting, you, it's energy expenditure. It's energy expenditure. This is, if, if you want to get out of, if you have a thing where you feel like, I just think too much, overthink. The only thing that stops you from overthinking is physical movement, right? Like, if you're listening to music and you're dancing, you're hardly going to be sitting there in the thinking man pose, going down the rabbit hole with your thoughts, because you're listening to music and you're having fun and you're dancing. So get up off the couch and get jiggy with it. <laughs> I'm really aging myself here today. Seriously, you have to get more physically active. That's what I hear because you're alienating and isolating yourself. Now, if, if you like being there, do your thing. It doesn't make it wrong. Just talking to those of you who don't like where you are and you want to get moving and you feel like if I don't get moving, I'm going to think myself into a coma here. I'm never going to get out. Okay, let me see what other messages there are here for you. Okay, forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So there's a necessary or there's a need for forgiveness. You also have chemistry. The attraction you feel with someone this month will be mutual. Or it is. Okay, stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Like I said, there's definitely a love thing. What? You've got true love. The love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. See, some of you are getting getting it. Listen, cuffing season's coming. Some of you are getting into a relationship. <laughs> Virgo's like, wait, the timing's not right yet. I still have to lose 10 more pounds. Um, I still, I have to go, I have to get new clothes. Wait, I'm not ready. Don't push me. <laughs> it's coming, Virgo. Get ready. Prepare. If you're not prepared, get prepared. Don't panic. Get prepared. So, yeah, love is coming in September. Absolutely. And it's true love. You want to, like, all right, if you're not ready, then just go. You can take a leap of faith. You could go slow. Whatever you need to do. But get yourself ready. You need to, like, be kind of, like, you can't be like Oris here in the chat who just sits around with no pants on. He probably ain't even got a job. You need to, like, <laughs> just kidding, Oris. You need to, like, seriously get yourself together here. If you're that person who's been in hermit mode, the signs are, they're calling out to you. It's time to get Get ready for the, the new season change. You're still in Virgo season. Everyone's in downtime because it's Mercury retrograde right now. V I think Venus, is it over? I think it is. But now it's time to like start getting yourself, hoisting yourself back up on the horse and, you know, start going here. So whatever you got to work on, whatever you got to do, it's time. It's time. All right, let me see. And it's okay, too, Virgo. Like, you can have your down times, too. Like, active rest days are very important as well. Whatever you're working, whatever you're building, whatever you're doing, you don't want to work yourself to boredom or get yourself where you wind up quitting because you expect too much. Just pace yourself, take your time, but move. It's progress, not perfection. All right, you've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's, I feel like I'm just kind of repeating myself. I'm a criminal repeater. 
You guys have been watching this new, like, I don't know. Uh, everybody's probably already heard of it, except for me. But I just found, like, this body cam um, police stuff <laughs> on YouTube. And I'm watching all these people get arrested, and they're losing their minds getting arrested. Like, I can't, I cannot even believe, like, if I get pulled over for a ticket, which I won't because I don't because I take care of myself, but if I it, like if I get pulled over for a ticket, speeding or something like that, I mean the last thing I'm gonna do is I don't freak the f out, <laughs> you know, and get myself locked up in jail and forget forget about DUI. I've never had one in my life and I never will, like because I just don't do that. But these these people, I'm like so I don't know what it is. It's kind of like when you're driving down the road and there's an accident on the side of the road and everybody like slows down to see it. Like, are we morbid? What is wrong with us? <laughs> Why do we watch these crime shows? I don't even it's sad because these are people's lives. I mean it's it's but I can't help it. Oh my god, I gotta stop. Anyway, time to take back control of your life, Virgo. Okay? Because this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Some of you already know this person. Or the new love. The new love, Virgo. All right. Give me a couple more. Yep. Chemistry again. There's a strong magnetic attraction here with someone. Woohoo! Cuffing season for Virgo. It's time to go. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. All right, love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's what I'm talking about. Like, get out there and get your um, get your crazy on. Do 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 do. Getting some Missy Elliott vibes here. Get your freak on, Virgo. All right, let me see. And you know what? Like, listen, there's 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 a yin and a yang to every zodiac sign. Okay. So for example, um, Keanu Reeves is a Virgo and he is very out of the spotlight, right? He is very introverted, he is very quiet, he keeps his relationship private, he he just does his work and you always hear good things, but he's quiet, he's like he's non-confrontational. Nothing ever really comes you don't hear nothing from him, right? And then on the flip side, you've got Beyonce, who's out there shaking her ass all over the stage from millions and millions of people, and even Michael Jackson, Virgos. So which one are you? And you don't have to be one or the other. You just be who you are, okay? But for those of you who are generally, you're the entertainer type Virgo, you're the ones who are super so social, and you even no matter what you are every virgo does have an element of introversion to them and they are reserved no matter what they how they perform whatever but if you're the one that's a little leans more a little more to the side where you're more extroverted something's got you down something's keeping you down too much and that's why i feel like that message kept coming out that you need to break out back into yourself do you understand what I'm saying? Back to who you are. Like you're up on stage and all the single ladies, all the single ladies, right? So uh, that was just like, <laughs> I just felt like I needed to say that for some of you, the message that was coming out. And if you're wondering why, like if I sound like I'm super, super hyped, it's because I just finished a, a 45 minute hit workout. So I have all this excess energy. <laughs> I wasn't even going to do a video tonight. And I'm like, yes, I am. Yes, you, yes, you are. Self-discipline. Get on it do it all right let's check the chinese signs okay so starting with year of the snake year of the tiger this could be you could be your person it could it could just be you or not you at all doesn't mean it's not your reading year of the rabbit year of the goats bah. year of the rat year of the ox year of the rooster and year of the monkey okay Where are we, you guys? Where are we? What are we doing? All right, just a couple extra messages here. What the heck? Stuff's flying. Oh, arguments and separation. Virgo, I feel like yesterday's, uh, well, the one I did earlier today was like, try to s be at peace with all people this week. <laughs> so, hmm. I feel like that's the same message. If there's an argument somewhere, separate yourself. 
right? Don't, don't stay, don't fight back. It's not worth it, Th especially in the month, um, for the, this whole week, especially, and in September, just, you know what, the more you argue back with someone, the more energy and attention you're giving uh, to another person when um, you have to ask yourself, is this even worth it? If it's not worth it and you just want to be right, you're, you're going to wind up like, if someone's f acting a fool and you're arguing with them, then you're both fools. Point blank, period. The wise person walks away. The, the wise person's like, you know what? I can see you're kind of upset. So I'm going to go over here and go have a smoothie. And then um, when you're done, we'll have a conversation, right? Trust your intuition. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed to you. And if you hang up on someone, don't call them back. Just leave it alone. All right. Yep. Peace. Peace. Seek peace. That's the answer. That's the answer. There's some type of argument or something going on this month where I feel like if you don't know what to do about this or something, separate, get, get away from it. Distance. Distance yourself from something. Seek peace. Trust that God is working this situation out. Trust his timing. Seek peace. Okay. That, I'm just going to leave that there because that's a really super strong message there. And I just felt like you needed to hear that for some, for some God awful reason. You needed to hear it. That's how I feel. All right. We're going to go back here. Get a couple more messages. Let's see. Oh, man. Ooh. Okay. We've got a Leo. Leo showing up here. Someone's birthday is 1981 year of their birth someone is 1968 we have the letter r again someone's name starts or ends with an r um april is a significant month they're telling me april 18th somebody's birthday could be yours it could be anybody's um okay all right that's strange i just heard somebody Mm. Oh, okay and i ran i ran so far away so i couldn't get away does anybody know who sang that i bet you can't remember somebody's a runner someone is a runner like maybe runs like like physical fitness runs could be a Sag, a Sagittarius, very much into physical fitness, I'm hearing. I'm also here picking up Arnie. Someone's name is Arnie. Okay. Someone is going to be 55 this month. 55 years of age in September. Happy birthday if you have turned 55 um, or whatever age you've turned. Um, someone was also born in September 1955. So what does that make you like? I don't know. I can't do math. 60 something, I guess. And let me see. What the hell is this? Oh, we've got two. Oh, okay. So someone is 43. And I'm also, they're giving me the number two. They're saying 2.30. Like something's happening at 2.30, either a.m. Or, or p.m. Significant 2.30 significant pivotal moment will occur around on the ha on the ha bottom of the hour on the bottom of the ninth siri's talking to me but you can't hear her she's like i didn't get that could you say that again no siri go back and listen to the video okay four seven one five and someone is okay they're giving me tran so someone might be um tran something it could be a name tran or trang tran um but somebody is tran or trans it could be as well i just they're giving me also the word epoxy so something to do with epoxy all right pisces pisces the epoxy let me see that makes no sense okay all right, you guys, give me a sec here. Kiwi. Someone's eating kiwi or likes kiwi. Um, also, 
does something on Wikipedia or is reading something on Wikipedia. Um, okay. Oh. Oh, wow. All right, you guys. This is it. Your twin is showing up. Your twin, Virgo, is showing up in September. You are connecting with a twin flame in, in September. Whether that's a karmic twin or whether that's the good twin, I don't know. Their letter of their, their name could start with a P, an S as in Sam, an H, or a Y. Or it could be in there somewhere. Okay. So I'm leaving that reading there. I hope that that was insightful or at least entertaining to some degree. If you want to get a personal reading, go ahead and book it. The link is in the description box below. You can also buy me a cup of coffee if you like. I appreciate to you who have. Please continue to donate to the child rescue funds that I have available here. The Hour Rescue that's here on YouTube. And there's also a link to my personal um, Rescue Kids Now website. So all proceeds, I take none of the money, none of it's for me. It goes directly to the National Center for Missing Exploited Children. And that's my charity donation service that I like to provide to try to help the kids. So if you would like to give, definitely uh, do that for sure. If you, any amount is fine. Same with the coffee. I, I could always use more coffee, can't you tell? <laughs> All right, you guys. So yeah, discounted reading for September, $99 for 30 minutes. Do check that out because that's pretty damn cheap. That's like pretty damn cheap. Yeah. All right, you guys. So I'll see you all back here, of course, tomorrow. I hope you guys make good choices. I hope you're happy. I hope you love yourselves and love other people. Be at peace with everyone this week. And I will talk to you very soon. All right. Bye. Yeah,